Alright guys, Outdoor Drummer here, doing a review of my new bow I just picked up from Buck Rub Archery here in Wisconsin. Really nice bow. This is the 2011 model Hoyt Pro Hawk. It's a killer bow, man. Killer bow. Technology's on it. It's got the parallel split limbs, M4 cams, the limb savers, um, these string dampeners, I don't know what they're called off the top of my head. Um, and uh, yeah, so I'm just going to get into what I have on the bow here. Um, obviously this is a Hoyt, so great technology. The cams drawing are super smooth. They're killer smooth. It's amazing how smooth these things are. Um, limb design, really nice. I really love Hoyt's parallel limbs. That's always something I loved about Hoyt. And they just do it. They did it great in this bow. Really nice camo job. This is real tree AP camo. Um, the riser is a really neat looking design. I really like this this handle here. The, the grip is nice, and it says that really nice handle there too, which is cool. Um, this top part of the riser is really nice, obviously. So yeah. Now I'll go into what I have on it. I have a tube peep. As you can see, my tube is busted because I just got it uh, three days ago, four days ago, and um, I've been shooting a lot. And I said I have to get it broken in. Then I'm going to go back into buck rub and get it paper tuned. So I've been stretching the strings out, obviously. And well, it looks like we're going to have to adjust my draw length because it was obviously too short. <laughs> so I just have a regular single peep. Uh, two peep or whatever it's called, I don't know what it's called, but um, yeah, that always pulls straight. Unlike a one that's just connected to the string, those usually don't pull straight every time. So yeah, um, the rest that we have, we have a drop away, and these are really cool how they work. The bow pulls back, and the, the string obviously pulls the arrow up, and this is a. Uh, and drop away is this uh, trophy taker drop away? I don't know if you can see. Yeah, you can't see it, but it's a trophy taker drop away. It's really nice. It's just got this little piece. As you can see, I don't think the bow is fully aligned. As you can see, I may need to do some aligning when we paper tune. But, but yeah, it's just all it is is just this little attachment here on the rest. And then your thing there, which the arrow goes in, it's just a drop away. It's really nice. Um, the sight I have on here, it's a really nice sight. It's a four pin Vital Gear Spike 1100. Um, it's really nice. It's got this little light here. I'll show you. Just turn a little knob in a blind situation or a low light situation. Turn that on and see your pins really nicely. And also, the. Uh, outer loop of the site glows in the dark as well and of course it has the balancing bubble on there so you know if you're shooting your bow level so yeah and this just turns on and off with turning a switch so it's really nice now I'll tell you something interesting here I'll tell you about my arrows too if I'm over here I shoot uh, Carbon Express Predator 4560 arrows, carbon arrows. It's a regular field tip on there right now. Um, I know a lot of people are going to give me crap because it's chartreuse and pink fletchings, but hey, haven't lost an arrow yet and I've missed the target several times, so <laughs> that's good. Just regular knocks. I'm going to get luminox once the hunting season starts, so yeah. I also have for small game, shocker, small game heads or judo tips, whatever you want to call them. I call them judo tips from Carbon Express. They're really nice. Um, the release I have is a uh, Fletcher Hunter Shorty. It's a really nice release. It's not spring powered. It's all hinged. There's no springs in this release at all. It's all hinged. Um, yeah, this is a really nice uh, release. I'm trying to find the brand here. Fletcher, Jim Fletcher Archer, I don't know. But, anyway, the fun with my quiver. This is a Fuse, I'm not 100% sure what model it is. I think it's, it starts with an S, I know that, but... Anyway, typically, it just straps, you flip the 
little lever up, up and you just slide it right onto the site flip the lever down and it locks um well this is not the greatest quiver in the world um it's good it's nice it's durable but it does not hold your arrows at all which is the main purpose of a quiver so it's quite useless actually and we're going to be taking it back to buck rub and figure out what the heck is wrong with it that it won't do what a quiver is supposed to do so yeah but I'll probably put up some videos once I get my bow all fixed and get, get it fully adjusted and sighted in and we'll shoot some video of me uh, shooting it at uh, 10 yards, 20 yards, and 30 yards, and maybe 40. We'll see. Yeah, thanks, guys. Thanks for watching. Um, I'm hopefully going to get some more drum covers up soon. I'm hopefully going to get some uh, more uh, bow stuff, some more hunt stuff, and trapping stuff with uh, Airgun Hunter 121 as well. So this has been out another outdoor drummer production, guys. See you later.